It's one of Gibraltar's natural wonders and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There's no summer respite here, as work is non-stop at the Gorham and Vanguard Cave Complex. Presently, a team from Liverpool John Moores University is at the site. The students are studying forensic anthropology and zoology. They're a great bunch, very energetic, and we've been working with Liverpool University for a few years now. And last month we had a team from Leiden University. Um, their tack was slightly different. They are more zoo archaeology people, so they're more into the bones and you know how to put bones together, what animals these bones come from, and so on. So it's a pretty varied team. But you have to understand we we work with about it's probably close to 60 different entities around the world at the moment. So, you know, someone will then look at bird bones, someone will look at shells and so on. The museum have been working with teams from Leiden University as well as Liverpool John Moores, excavating for two months and concentrating primarily on Vanguard Cave, clearing surface sand which has been covering ancient deposits. Their main aims have been targeting the recently discovered back chamber and understanding what Neanderthals were doing in the area, focusing on a set of layers at the base of the cave. These caves are really quite exceptional. I mean, we have 17 to 18 vertical meters of deposit left in Vanguard and in Gorham's. That's, you know, at our current rate, hundreds of years worth of work still ahead of us. And, you know, there's such promising sites. We're, we're talking about just over there behind me. Um, that's where we found the tooth of a Neanderthal. OK, so we know that, you know, we could have a Neanderthal right behind us right now as we're filming. So it, it is a bit daunting, but we know what we're doing. We always come with a very clear plan and no rushing. Very, very slowly and with a lot of patience. Our cameraman Darren Durante was given exclusive access to the chamber that has only been viewed by a very small number of people. As we explore the inside of the chamber, moments captured in time, these scratch marks believed to be from a bear. The discovery of the chamber was announced almost a year ago by the museum during the Galpe conference. It's a tight, humid space, not a lot of room to maneuver, but what you see is spectacular, especially when you consider that all of this went unseen for some 45,000 years until now. We had to go through a long, uh, arduous process before we were able to go in ourselves. So a lot of DNA sampling of soil, um, scanning every single bit of the cave before people went in, you know, just to make sure we knew where everything was. And over the last few months, what we've done, we've been able to do all of that. We've scanned the entire system, put it on with our, the rest of the LiDAR scan that we have for, for Vanguard Cave and we started excavating. So you're going to be the first people to actually see um, a chamber which was sealed 45,000 years ago. And well, before us, the last people there were Neanderthals. Our exclusive access to the cave would have been newsworthy enough. But shortly after our interview with Stuart Finlinson concluded, the team from Liverpool John Moores made a discovery at the base of the cave. So Stuart, we've come to talk to you about the latest from Vanguard's cave, but appears to have been a discovery just right now so mm -hmm. can you tell us what we're looking at so basically whilst we've been working in this area we have this lovely clean section and we've been picking up different uh, bones in the area um, from deer and probably ibex as well um, but just now whilst we were recording at the top we found this darker area of soil you can see here mm. and that's actually a neanderthal campfire so wow. what we have here is a campfire where Neanderthals were obviously cooking their food, the shards of bones that they've left over, and we even have there a mussel, the shell, a limpet, another shell, and some of the stone tools that they've left behind. So you could almost take this now as a complete moment in time when a Neanderthal, probably quite a long time ago, this level's probably around 90,000 years ago, okay? Wow. Some Neanderthals came here, had some shells, some mussels, used their stone tools, cooked these animals, and even the campfire which is coming through right now. That's extraordinary. And there you have it, Vanguard's cave continuing to yield incredible discoveries, including one just today. A testament to the work done here, not only by the museum, but by visiting groups as well.